Hi guys, this is Chris and I'm back with another Quick Tips with Chris video uh, within Cinema 4D this time. Um, there will be some more, there will be some After Effects ones and possibly some Sony Vegas ones coming out in the near future. So be on the, be on the lookout for them. So yeah. Uh, what I'm going to be teaching you to do today is how to use the displacer on a MoGraph object, such as a pyramid as I've used here, to create an abstract looking um, piece like object or whatever. So as you see there, um, so yeah, I'm going to teach you how to make these sort of objects. So you're just going to grab your uh, shape, I'm going to use a pyramid for this because it normally turns out a lot nicer. And then you're going to go into your effector, no, like your effects tab I think it's called, and you're just going to select the displacer, and you're just going to drag it under the pyramid. Um, now for this, this all relies on the segments of the shape. So if I have this on 10, uh, then click my display. So I go to shading, shader, noise. Go back to the object and change my height. You can see that it's more like there are less spikes. So that's with 10. I'm just going to copy that. And I'm going to drag one to the side. Uh, this one will be with 50. There we go. Which, as you can see, is a more spiky looking piece, more shape. And then another one to the, to the side. And I'll make this one with 5. So, yeah. Um, and if I just select all these and drag a material on. And if I render that now, um, you're going to be able to see that with the uh, material you're going to be able to see the shadowing a lot um, eat better due to the various shapes and indents within the object uh, this sort of thing can be used if you're going to be merging a um, logo or just another shape into another so you can have like a display set on both of them um, so you can merge from a sphere to a triangle to a pyramid, sorry, or a cube to a cylinder, whatever you think. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, it's just a really, really basic material, just colour on red, that's it. And I'm already getting some pretty nice results with the one on the right there, and the one on the left. Uh, I'm not to count the one in the middle, just because I don't think it looks that nice, but yeah. So this has been uh, Quick Tips with Chris on how to use the displacer on a MoGraph shape. I hope you all enjoyed this video, if you have be sure to leave a like rating and a comment below, it helps me out tremendously. Um, anyway, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.